In this tutorial I will be talking about how to shoot vertical video and I'm not talking about shooting with your phone or reframing 16x9 footage to 9x16 but actually shooting with a dedicated DSLR or mirrorless camera but mounted vertically to get the best results. The main challenge of capturing video vertically is quite obvious. The framing and composition don't match what you would usually shoot when recording in any widescreen aspect ratio. The difficulty is the empty space that is often on the top or bottom of the frame. This is especially an issue when filming with a wide-angle lens. In architectural shots, you either need to tilt up to avoid showing the floor too much or you need to zoom in. Overall, I think the best way to get professional looking results is to use a telephoto lens. On social media channels, most vertical videos are captured with a smartphone and often recorded at the wide end or badly cropped from 16x9 footage. Specifically, framing for vertical content can make the shooting experience easier and the viewing experience much better. In some cases it can even be a big advantage to have this type of aspect ratio because not everything is wide but some subjects are also long or tall. To capture videos in 9x16 your camera needs to be mounted sideways. The best way to do this is to use a cage. Depending on the cage you are using it can be risky to mount the camera sideways since the weight balance could be off. A lack of screw and mounting options can make the whole setup risky too. The safest and fastest way to attach the camera to your tripod head is to use a dedicated L-bracket. That way you could even switch quickly between shooting sideways and horizontally. This option is only possible if you are using a DSLR or mirrorless camera since there are usually no L-brackets available for camcorders or cinema cameras. If you are shooting or editing a project that is supposed to be delivered in 16x9 and square, there is no need to shoot vertically. Because reframing 16x9 to 1x1 is rather easy compared to a vertical delivery. There is no perfect solution if a project requires to be finished in 16x9 and a vertical aspect ratio. A possible solution could be to shoot an interview with two cameras, one set up horizontally and the other one vertically. For B-roll shots you could do the same if two video shooters are available. Otherwise you would need to shoot everything twice, which actually isn't as bad as it may sound, especially when using an L-bracket that can quickly be mounted. But this depends on the project and whether or not shots can simply be repeated or not. Editing is of course also a factor. If both formats are being shot individually, the video would also need to be edited twice for each aspect ratio, which results in twice the amount of editing work. A few years ago we were hired to produce a tourism campaign exclusively to be displayed vertically on Instagram. Back then we decided to shoot everything in 16x9 in case the client still wanted such a delivery and adjust the framing later in post. Almost everything was captured with an ultra wide angle lens to get as much in the frame as possible. It actually worked out pretty well but was definitely not easy to edit. So from my own experience I highly recommend shooting vertically for a project that is meant to be displayed vertically only. Shooting vertical video is something that should be well thought through and also well planned, especially from a budget and from a time point of view, because there are times where it can be very limiting, especially from a creative point of view, but it can also be very freeing, because there are situations where actually framing vertically can make a lot of sense and can actually make the shooting much easier. That's it from me, and I'll see you next time.